Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thanks for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today, you see I'm standing in front of my 60 gallon and my 125 gallon turtle tank again. So um, in the last video, I talked to you guys about the reasons why when you're doing your water changes, you should not do 100% um, and how I do it. So if you haven't caught that video, go ahead and uh, take a look at that one. I'll put the link in the description. But with, as far as this video, um, I want to show you guys how you can make a canister filter work for your aquarium, for your turtle aquarium, even when you don't have it 100% full. If you have it 50%, 75%, 60%, I'm going to show you exactly how a canister filter will work for your aquarium. Because I know a lot of people have those internal filters, and I know you hate those things, guys. Let, let's be real. They don't really filter out much. It's just a little bit of a trickle of water. But um, as far as actually being able to hold the load that you needed to hold when you have these turtles, it don't really work for you. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I can make a canister filter work for you guys. So um, enjoy. All right guys, so this is what we're looking at. This right here, this little contraption right here is what we're going to use in order to make the canister filters work for our aquarium. Um, so you could easily manipulate this and cut this smaller or longer, however it needs to be for your aquarium, whether or not you have a bigger tank, smaller tank, etc. So I made this about 12 inches. This piece right here is 25 inches. So um, we have the half inch PVC right here. We have a half inch cap right there. We have the half inch elbow. And then we have the half inch coupler right there with the connection that's going from PVC to that vinyl tubing right there. And that is just black vinyl tubing. We also have these two hose clamps right here that we're going to use. And then um, we have these basic mounts that you could either get with heaters or you could purchase them in a store and they're for heaters or you could even use the ones that came with um, an old filter. I don't remember where these came from I just know I had all of these parts laying around. Matter of fact, the only thing I had to buy from the store was this cap and um, and that coupler right there. So other than that, I had all these parts laying around from um, past builds, but um, we're finally putting them to use today. So all I'm going to do now is go ahead and put holes all along this piece of PVC pipe. Uh, I will probably do it. I'll probably put a hole every inch. Um, that should give us the amount of flow that I would like. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. So everything is dry right now. I'm not. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna glue anything. Um, we'll see how it how it does without the glue. And um, that way, if we need to make any adjustments, I could go ahead and just pull it apart. If I'm happy with it, I may glue it. You know, because it's up under some pressure, not a lot, but it's up under some pressure. But if it doesn't seem like we'll need to go ahead and glue it, I'm not going to glue it. Um, if it was up under like heavy pressure, then I would definitely go ahead and glue this. But um, let's go ahead and, uh, and get these holes drilled and then we'll go from there. So that's it, got it marked. Now it's time to drill it. Like 
alright and don't worry about the holes being um, in a straight straight line they really don't have to be because you know it can spray around in multiple different areas As a matter of fact you could have gone up top down you could have you could have went zigzag it's totally fine it's up to you um, if you want to be precise and um, have them completely straight you could also do that but um, I don't feel the need to do that so let's go ahead and uh and move on to the next step all right guys so now that I have all of this water removed from the tank we can get a better idea of how low this spray bar is going to go and uh, we, we can make any adjustments that need to be made so it goes down pretty far guys so if you're t I mean I'm pretty sure that your tank will have more water than this but at least we'll give you an idea of uh, the capabilities of something like this if we want it to go a little bit higher let's just say we want it about right there so all I need to do is just go ahead and cut this piece of PVC right here and then uh, which we actually might do but first I need to make sure this vinyl tubing will fit over there, which it doesn't. So it doesn't fit on there. So what I need to do is I will warm this up and basically that makes it more pliable and then it could go ahead and slip right on. So let's get that going and then we'll go from there. And I just, I bought this, uh, this heat gun from Home Depot. I don't remember how much it cost, but it was uh, it certainly was worth it. Pretty affordable. If you don't have a heat gun, I'm pretty sure there's other ways of getting this warmed up. A lighter? Maybe over the, maybe if you hold it over the stove or something like that, maybe that'll work. So. All right. So I warmed it up. Let's see if I could get this on there. Oops, sorry. No, don't worry about it. All right, there we go, guys. So just warmed it up a little bit, slipped right on. I'm going to go ahead and cut this PVC. All right, so here's my little trusty PVC cutter. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. So for my tank, I just want it low enough to where the turtles can use it to climb out of the tank. So I may or may not need those hose clamps. So this should go down and it does just like that. So I won't put it too low, but I just wanted to show you that even if your water level is pretty low with a canister filter, you're still going to be able to basically filter out that dirty water. So go ahead and lift it back up because I don't want the substrate getting into there but just like this go ahead and put that one it's a snug fit I'm happy about that all right all right guys just like that so next let me go ahead and uh Open these valves. Nope. First, I need to add water. Take that back. Let me go ahead. Baby, could you go ahead and cut on the water for me? All right. So, for the sake of the video, I'll fill it up to about right there. Plenty of water. 
that's at least 45 gallons. One benefit also of you not removing all of the water is that you save money on, uh, on the chlorinator. Since I still had at least 20% of the water in this tank, I'm not so worried about putting in the sterile water, you know, chlorinated. You know, by the time it hits that old water, it's totally fine. So if that makes you nervous, please don't do it that way. Go ahead and uh, continue to put the, the chlorinator in there. But this is just the way I do it. And, um, you know, you see for yourself, you can see for yourself that, uh, that everybody's still fine. And I do that with all my tanks. Now, if I remove 80%, something like that, you know, then I will go ahead and add to the chlorinator. But I don't, I don't, I don't have to do that every time. It's just, it's just basically it's up to you. It's whatever you think that you need. You should know, you know, it's whatever you're comfortable with. So we are going to add just a little bit more water. take into account that let me open up these valves real quick for the filter for the canister it's gonna maybe to turn it off turn it off baby perfect you need me to hold the hose no, it's not cutting on record. I am. So as you see, the water is siphoning through. It's filling up the canister filter. Alright guys, so we have the water filled up to about 70%, 60% of the total volume. Um, this was a bus guys. So we started off with one single row of holes. I had to triple that and I'm still not getting the flow that I would like to get coming up out of this canister filter. So, but it's not a complete fill, guys. So, the issue that we were having was that we need to be able to use a canister filter if we want to have the tank 50% full, 60% full, et cetera, et cetera. So, as you can see, this is a good height if you have turtles. If you have about 40 gallons of water right here, you know, if you have the basking little platform about right here, and then have the basking light about this high, it's, it's perfect. So, you still will be able to use the, um, the canister filter. So if you come over here, babe, we still was able to manage to use the vinyl tubing right here, which gave us some length, and then we used the, the, the tubing to PVC connector right here. We have a coupler right here, and then we have a little bit of PVC as well as this elbow. So the float coming out of here is good. So this is completely under the water. If you wanna go ahead and use um, eight inches, that's probably about like four inches of PVC. You could put eight inches of PVC 
You can put 10 inches, with however long you want it to be. You can have it going all the way to the bottom of your aquarium so it can help stir up some of that uh, detritus and things that stutter on the bottom. It's really up to you. So um, it didn't work, work out the way I wanted it to work. I really thought that spray bar would work perfectly fine, but it didn't. But again, like I said, it's not a total fail. You can certainly implement this into your aquarium. Um, so I hope this was still helpful for you guys. I hope uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you decide to hit that uh, that like button. You know, I really tried for you guys. I did, um, but uh, yeah. So I will actually leave this on because before I had the water just coming down and shooting down into this corner. You know, keeping it bare in this corner over here. But um, I do like that. So again, it's working for me. It could work for you. Um, certainly, if you have a turtle aquarium and it's not full of water, you can still use a canister filter and it's gonna be 100% better than that internal filter that you got. So that's the video guys. I, uh, I still will need to do a couple of things around the house, do some cleaning up because I made a bit of a mess trying to get this video out for you guys. But um, yeah, that's about it. Please follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook at The Fish Corner. Like my page, please. Consider joining my Facebook group, Fisherholics. Like, comment, subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. And until next time, guys, peace. All right, so this is day two on our uh, canister filter modification. So, um... As I said yesterday, when I had it about 25 inches in length, the PVC pipe, it would not have enough pressure to push all the water through the holes. So I slept on it and uh, I decided to cut it. So now that I cut it, I cut it to about five inches. Now it works perfectly fine. So sometimes, you know, we gotta take a little break and come back to it. And then we finally uh, see the other side of the tunnel. So um, yeah, I'll have you take a look at this and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's only about like five inches now, but now it works perfectly fine. So I still have, let me pull this on out. So I still have the little brackets right there holding it. I have the holder right there holding it on the bottom. I have the holder right there holding it up top. I decided to put the pothos inside of the tank right here instead of the filter so the roots could actually you know sit inside the water i think it looks a little bit better um but yeah look at how it look at this thing guys works perfectly fine so um as you can see it can work for you i said as you can see a whole bunch of times <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah so i really like the way this look um it gives you an idea of what you could do for yourself with your aquarium, but but I would but I ended that video yesterday. I was uncertain and unsure whether or not we could make that happen, but I'm glad it worked. So yeah, so just wanted to do a quick little follow up, and um, yeah, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.